Welcome back to the Cowboy Hawk Show, everybody. I'm your host, Cowboy Hawk. And I'm also your co-host, Cowboy Hawk. And I'm your better co-host, Professor Ken. Yeah, that's right. I think what two Cowboy Hawks is one Cowboy Hawk too many. Yes. Now, we're playing more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, so I think it's about time to, uh... Ah, hey, grab that boy! Yes, so we're gonna grab a boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. What's going on on the ship? That's right. Oh, no, it's soft! <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, he looks wow. like, he's chippy! <laughs> he's, he's such a cute little fellow in this game. No more running for you. <laughs> yeah, you lay the law down, Nasir. So, uh, last, when last we left off, we had just boarded Nasir's ship, and now we are apparently capturing a stowaway. He boarded the ship at Toha somehow by sneaking aboard. Why are you on the ship? Do you realize that you have just sold yourself into slavery for seven years? Soft refuses to talk. In that case... Oh, uh, I think he's grabbing him by the ear. <laughs> yep. Or maybe twisting his arm. It's like, oof. Nice rough. Open your mouth and start talking. He's like, listen, little boy, we are we are a mercenary company who is extremely poor, and uh, we don't have time for your shenanigans. <laughs> I think he did grab his ear. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> well, what's your name? What are you doing here? Why are you on my ship? Nasir's ship, sorry. <laughs> I keep taking possession of your ship. He's a thief, but you didn't come to steal. A lively story. And Ike doesn't believe him for a second. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, dis, burn! Nasir one, Ike zero. Burn! <laughs> Woohoo! I'm looking for someone. I heard the ship was sailing for Begneon, so I decided to climb aboard. Is it Begneon? We don't know where this person is. The trail went cold in Toha. Alas. You know, the funny thing is, the person he's looking for has been in Dane this entire time. Yep. Family? Close enough. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but we're definitely family. Yep. <laughs> Which makes their relationship with the second game a little more awkward. <laughs> yep. Uh, I guess we'll aid Soth. Yeah, sure. Alright. Nasir, my mercenary company will look after this boy. Mm -hmm. And we definitely need to look after him because he's wussy and weak right now. Fine by me, as long as he doesn't take any of my stuff. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Nasir has some extremely expensive baubles. They're gonna be put to slave labor! Yeah, and that's how you will pay your debt for sneaking aboard. Now I'm gonna talk to Vogue, our actual thief. Are you around? There you are. Where have you been? I hope. Well, now that you're on the ship, you can't go anywhere, so. Don't worry, I'll be there when you need me. He's very quiet, doesn't need to be disturbed. Oh yeah, Mist, um... <laughs> Mist thinks that, that you're, uh... We never did it. Land is big, ship is... <laughs> uh -huh, yep. Mist thinks that you're dying of hunger. Nice. 100 gold. <laughs> I Jeez. Knew it. I don't like large groups. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, yep. That might be better. Mist, stop roaming around looking for Vogue. He'll feed yep. himself. Oh, hey, it's Zyhark, our actual swordmaster. We're going to talk a bit more about him in a minute, so... Nope, not that at all. So, why did you come to a place that was known as, as bigotry in order to save the goos? He's actually from Dayan himself, did you know? Yep, yeah, he is. I remember that. From yeah. the sequel, which we've already played. <laughs> and beaten to death. Twice. Three times, I think, because you beat it too, right? Uh, did I? I don't remember. You started a file, but I don't think you got very far. Oh. I know you beat this one, because you had yeah. your team of crack paladins. Yes, I had the paladin attack squad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so in the meantime, uh, Cyhark is glad to find, um, like, somebody or other who, uh, who actually shares his beliefs about the Lagoos. So... Of course I have my reasons, but I don't care to share them, because it's extremely personal. We find out more about them later, I guess. You are a good man. <laughs> That's good. I, as long as you recruit good men, we'll be fine. And then, we'll have a gay old time. <laughs> and now let's talk to Ilyana, who is probably dying of hunger. Yep. And seasick, apparently. Well, that's great. Unfortunately, I don't think Ilyana is going to make it to my A-team. I have a feeling. Sword is kind of already good enough, and uh, we don't need two Thunder users on the theme. That's for sure. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, it takes a village to look after this one, mostly because she could probably eat a village out yep. of house and home if careful. Yep. If you're not careful, that is, so. It's like wowzers. I get that a lot. <laughs> Their magic skills are amazing! Lee Bat! Actually, they're not bad at all. I just haven't trained her. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> apparently all she needed was some companionship. Okay. Stay above deck, look off at the horizon. And uh if you hear someone singing, don't look down. Alright, can I do any supports? I can't level up anyone, risk can't. Okay, so our supports are woefully barren. <laughs> nice. Now, let's go to the outfitting, which means it's time for Chipmunk. I already did Ike, fortunately. Uh, I got him at his 18th point of speed, and a 13th point of strength, so he's actually only down to 16 with the Iron Blade, which is fine. Ike is fine. Let's, I gave Zyharko the Goose Slayer. Um, let's look at him. He has actually almost as much speed as Ike, and he's only level 11. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Of course, he has a lot less HP. Yep. Uh, less strength, so he's actually weighed down a little bit by his Steel Sword. We're gonna get. We're gonna fix that pretty quickly, I think. I gave him an iron sword from the convoy and a, a goose slayer for this chapter. Yep. Because it's actually ravens we fight. Yeah, it's right, ravens. Uh, Ilyama. Unless we're using you, you need to trade your L thunder to sword. We can't even use it. Oh, that's all right. Well, he'll level up to D pretty soon. Mist is beast halves already. <laughs> nice. We already gave her a level of bonus experience. R uh, Rolf is doing okay. The steel bow and Rolf's bow are going to come in very good hand for this one. Riss still can heal. He's gotten... Well, he's not, his mag's up to 13, so I guess we're starting to get somewhere with him. Boyd is capped HP, but still needs more strength. We already know about Sorin. We could give him a level, actually. He's at 64 experience. That seems like a good idea. Well, bro, I'll be back in five minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> da -da. <laughs> da -da -da -da. I'll take this one. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> Experience right now. Who's that right at? There he is. I already did him though. Okay, now back to the outfit here. Uh, Mist, Rolf, Riss, Boyd, Sorin, Marsha, Oscar, Ito. Well, he's got the steel on, so he can actually use that now, so I guess that's fine. Um. Kieran would probably want to steal Axe over there. There's nothing here. Here we go. She just has the Iron Lance. Uh, Convoy take the Javelin. There we go. Huh. Okay, so Javelins are also in rank. Interesting. Um. Well, let's go to the Armory. Oh, uh, not the Armory. The Forge. What am I thinking? I would like to forge a lance today. There we go. <laughs> Dude, this is going to be basically a silver lance. No, I don't need to erase the crit. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yes! Um, that's fine. 2,000 for a nice lance. Alright. Oops, got there. Okay, here we go. A nice, shiny, sharp-ass lance, which is a little weaker than a silver lance, actually. And a lot more accurate. Hmm. Um, Longinus. Sure. Ha <laughs> ha. Spell it the Japanese way, huh? Yeah. <laughs> or Castlevania Area of Sorrow, actually. Yeah, it's okay. Spear of Rogers. And I guess that means it should be white or yellow. Go with white. That's pink, wow. Pink is like garish. Bethany gets this. 
Athena has Rondidus as her improved weapons, because she can't use steel yet. I can only forge one per chapter now. Also, Titania's disarmed because she's officially off the team. Soth! I got ex- He, um... We're not using him in this chapter, and I'm going to be hard-pressed to find when the hell am I going to level him up. Because I do want to get him to 20, but I don't want to waste no bonus experience on him. Uh-huh. Plus, he has Blossom, so experience he gains is a little bit less. Although, he does earn better stats for all his equipment. You can take it off if you need to level him faster. Yep. Um, I may wait until, like, a good chapter with a nice stationary boss and just grind the hell out of him. Mm-hmm. Or maybe some priest I could box in, perhaps. Yep. That would work. Something like that. Um, anyway, that appears to be all the uh, outfitting I need to do right now, so... Let me just check, uh... Let me just check what I can buy from the shop right now. I can buy more Thunder Tomes, I think. I have plenty in stock, though. More Wind if I needed it, but Wind is only as good as Thunder against birds and stuff, mm -hmm. so... Wind kinda sucks. In general. So only Sovereign should be using it only because he has Elwin, which is going to yep. be extra powerful. Um, I will take a Steel Ox. Just stick it with the Conquoy. Okay. okay, enough talk. Now we fight. Do you agree? <laughs> Time for fight. Yep. <laughs> Nasir. Nothing. Nothing we can do anything about anyway. We're being followed by pirates. Really? But I don't see a ship, because they are shipless pirates. In fact, birds. <laughs> They're huge bird. It's Big Bird! He followed us all the way. They are the goos. In other words, it's not just the uh, the cats. Ravens from Kilvis. Sorn is laying down the law as usual. You notice them coming as well? Okay, good. Alright, so we need to... They're really flying. Wow. <laughs> Ike, you are such a country bumpkin. <laughs> Airborne foes can be especially troublesome. So, Nasir attempts to take the ship full speed. Winged pirates, how do you fight with bows and magic? Uh-oh! <laughs> That's not a good sound. We've run aground! Alas! We're stuck on a reef now. So he sends his crew out to hurry up and get the ship moving. Unfortunately, the crows are coming too, so... You can see them already. Wow, they came pretty close to land. Yeah, actually. Well, I think the problem is that, like, they were trying to go through the strait, and it didn't work. Predictable humans sail right into our trap without fail. Let's finish this quickly. Phanesis or Goldor will take an interest, because we're actually right off of Goldor shores right now. Whoa! A cat! Uh, not a cat, a raven. What am I thinking? Cat? Hello? Do you have a plan? All members of the bird tribes are vulnerable to wind magic and arrows. So, anyone who has that, take your take off your weapons and fight. If you don't, whatever. Here we go. So we actually can't leave the ship except for a couple of flying units. Alright, now, let's go look at the boss. So, first of all, no, it's like a, we have, actually, there look like there are only six ravens, but more show up over time. Yep. The longer you wait to finish the battle, the more ravens will show up carrying stuff that you can seize from them when they die. So, cool beans, cool beans is right. Now let's go look at the map. So here's Seeker. Um, like any of the goos, he normally would transform back and forth, but as you can see, he's equipped with a demi band, which allows him just to just remain a raven forever. Yep. Which does deduct his stats a little bit. As you can see, his strength, speed, and so forth are all taking a small hit there. Yep. Um, by the minus signs, but it's a lot better. Also, he, I believe, drops a blue gem when he dies. That's yep. in red, right? Yes, it is. Okay, good. If it wasn't, then it means I'd have to steal it from him. Folks, not nearly fast enough to steal from a raven right now. So, his other raven friends are also about as fast. This one's actually kind of fast. Uh, actually, exactly as fast as Seeker. Fortunately, they don't hit very hard. The biggest one hits for 22. So... But they are fast, so the slower units might get doubled. Yeah. Um, so we have to watch out for that. Uh, also, not even Ike can double Seeker, because you need to have 20 speed for that. Yep. Alas, and a lack. And they have eight move, too, if I happen to look at that. Yeah, move eight, and so on and so forth. This one has an arm scroll, okay. And this one has a queen, which, uh, Voke could probably get that if I felt like stealing a coin, but it's only worth one gold in this game, and I'm gonna get plenty enough coins in the next game, so it doesn't matter that much. Okay, now, we gotta choose our crew! 
Okay, so I can take nine crew in addition to Ike. So we're gonna take Zyhark because of the Goose Slayer. Rolf because Archer. Soren because Elwind. Um Mist because Healer. I'm actually prioritizing Mist over Mist at the moment. Um I'm only gonna bring one healer, but of the two, Mist I think turns out a little better if you can give her the, the magic swords. Mm. Whereas Rest is just gonna be slow and clunky. <laughs> Let's see. We'll take five more guys. Well, let's bring Boyd, Nephany, Oscar, who's close to promoting. Marsha because flying unit. Yep. And it's a toss-up between Kieran, Ilyana, and if I wanted to level Voke up, I could do him as well. I'm thinking Kieran. Yep. Okay. I don't really need to reposition that much, to be honest. Because we are stuck on the boat. We can't leave except for Marsha, who is going to use her 18 speed to attack. <laughs> yep. Using the Steel and the Killer Lance. Did I get the Goose Lance for someone? I should have checked that. Um, items. Let me just confirm real quick. Convoy Lances! Okay, nope. no, none of that. Oh, hold on. We have a. We need to give a, a long oh, yeah, bow to uh, yeah. Wolf. That'll help some. Yep. Restore Staff Cures Poison. And we also have a bunch of stat up items as well. Okay! Very good. So Rolf will get that and then we're in business. Convoy Tick. There we go. All is well. So this isn't that challenging of a battle, you just have to keep your units in top shape and don't let your healer get doubled. There we go, zoom out a bit so I can see what I'm doing. Seeker won't move until uh, you've killed most of his minions, so there is that. Anyway, we want to kind of like barricade some of the walls a bit. They have Kanto as well, the birds do, so... We need to box in Mist real quick. Mist and Wolf. <laughs> oh jeez, Mist is actually not in range at all. That's curious. Alright, so let's bring Oscar over here. And he's got the Iron Lance. Very good. Soren would not be a good fit for this right now. Let's do Ike first. Okay. Well, I think. Oops. I should have done that. Oh, there's Boyd over here, too, actually. Let's, um. Because they can't move through your normal characters, I need Boyd to not. It's probably going to double by this guy. 12 speed, yeah. Oh well, whatever. Items? Very good. Okay. All seems to be a propos. Let's put the Lagoose Slayer on just because it hits Lagoose. Okay, go! Enemy phase! This one's going for Boyd. Ah! <laughs> I thought so. Doubles up. <laughs> Unfortunately, couldn't move away. Okay. Next phase, again, watch them birds. Dirty birds are all around us. If you can keep the enemy at bay for a little while, we'll be all set in. One, two, oh, that's right, there's one on our decks that we're just gonna murder. Observe! The Steel Bow does a lot of damage. Wolf's Bow does a little less, but also has a crit chance. Let's do it. There! Now I can just feed him to whoever I want to. And Bulla! That is a Seen Bow. It's very good. So, I will have... Nefity is going to score that kill. I'm just going to... Marsha gets to play offense. <laughs> Maybe not, because they can actually hit her pretty good. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nephany advances. Hits for six, hopefully. Very good. Okay. That's good. Now that rearranged the uh, stuff a little bit. Where's Boy? There he is. He got injured. So I'll bring Soren over here. Wait, should have him equip something else. Mist can stand here and heal, and that's good. 
because you may notice they can't. I don't think they can. They they don't do a very good job of being able to attack like through the the ship's um, edges. So just watch out for that. Bit before. Okay, everyone else I think is fine. So let's go. Next phase. This is kind of a breather level after that last chapter, to be honest. Okay. Alright, so that one's slower, so Boyd actually managed to just hit it. And technically, the other thing is, these guys are actually really good for experience, because um, they count as promoted units, even though they look like they're low-leveled. So you get a lot of experience from fighting them and killing them. Always helpful. Like, like Kieran's getting 16 per fight. Oh no, it's Jill! <laughs> Wowzer! She chased us all the way this far? Wow! Her dragon must be, like, tired by now. Giant birds. Yeah, bur- oh, jeez. Jill, your racism is showing. Put it away. Green unit. I think her priority is to talk to Ike right now, so... We don't want- she's equipped with the Laguz Guard, which halves damage done by Laguz attacks. Um, which is helpful. Because her speed is low as heck right now. And the Wyvern Band. Okay, that's useful. <laughs> I can only, it can pop up and it just stays the same. Her stats are exactly the same as they were before. Weighed down by her Steel Lance. Woman, we're going to need to get you some problems. She's also not a bad unit, but suffers from the same as anyone else. Okay, Soren, I have a bird for you to bake. Shake and bake! i put him here, actually. It's easier to get around. So Elwin doubles up to 13. <laughs> it's 14 for that, and wind up, so that puts him to C wind. Very good. Um, Rolf's gonna take aim at one of these guys. Can't double, but I'll just do a lot of damage instead. BAM! Now I can just feed that bird to anyone else I want to. <laughs> Run her all the way around. Round, round, get around. 77 hit does not fail me. Very good. I should probably have put the, uh, the area of effects for that other bird on. Whatever. There'll be more. Speed and defense. Those are good stats, but the fact that you only got two kind of disappoints me. Just so you know. Z-Hark, let's have you take aim at this guy. Ha-ha! Look at that! The effective weapons double in might against units that they're good against, so... The Goose Slayer at 9 becomes 18, which is actually pretty darn solid. 42 experience for that fight. That's good. Rolf's out of range. This one's gonna go down to whoever I choose to send him to. Maybe Nephany. Yeah. Impaled! <laughs> With extreme prejudice. I also need to heal someone because I'm sure someone took a hit. Arm scroll. Always useful, those. I think I'm gonna say I have, like, I intend to save a couple of those. Okay, shove you. Bump! Staff heal Kieran, because Kieran is the one who takes a lot of damage. Very good. No one else is injured. All is well. We advance. More birds. Very good. Eleven. Yeah, <laughs> he just 18 back. <laughs> Kieran, uh, Zyhark, you're funny. And that one I think is going for Jill. I think Jill wants to talk to Ike is what she wants to do, so... We're gonna have to work on that racism, though, that's for sure. Um, Zyhart takes another crack at it with the steel. Actually, the Goose Slayer's the only weapon that does decent damage. <laughs> like, ow. BAM! <laughs> there we go. And a level up for Zyhart! What do you got, boy? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> that's so bad! <laughs> you waste my experience! Ugh. <sighs> How many guys left right now? Oh, two enemies. <laughs> what was this one worth, anyway? I, what kind of army are you with, woman? Nice. So that build interesting. Units race. Okay. Just curious, that's all. Where's Ike? I just saw him. There he is. Let's bring Ike around over here and... All the rest of everything. Just go stay still. There are no enemies in range. <laughs> There we go. You! <laughs> this is going to be interesting. 
I am Jill Fizarch, wyvern rider of Dayan, attached to Commander Har's battalion. And you chased us all the way around just to join our troops, huh? <laughs> Ike is like, ha ha! You are a fool! <laughs> ah, that's more like it, Ike. Not accepting aid from Dayan is one thing, but this is better. <laughs> Ike, there we go, now we get to break it. What is going on? Oh, she just joins up anyway, okay. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some discussion with her. So she has the Raguse Guard, which is, I think, is going to stay on her because she's not speedy enough nor defensive enough. So, um, as a Wyvern Rider, they both use lances, Wyverns and Pegasi. Uh, the, the gimmick with them is that, um, as Dagrons, they tend to be, like, they're like the knights to Nep to, uh, to Marsha's ha uh, Halberdier, I guess. You know, stronger and more defensive, but less speedy, typically. Anyway, we're currently being chased by crows, so let's uh, retreat and make that crow work for his kill. Work it! That's right. I'm bringing Marsha to the back as well. Here we go. Ready to level up HP or anything that needs to be fixed, perhaps? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's get missed over. Let's bring Boyd around here. And Mist can back up and fix him. Very good. If I get nine heals off, I get an effectively free bonus level up. So, beyond that, it's the enemy's turn. Ah, more crows. Hopefully they don't get to move on this round. They might, actually, because they showed up at the beginning of the turn. But I also don't think they're in range of anyone. Thank the... Thank the Lord! <laughs> because I wouldn't want to have to deal with that on this round. Oh, okay, that's right. The edge of the ship counts as basically an extra strike. So, you have to l wind down at them. Clonk! <laughs> Soren's fast enough not to get doubled by this guy. It would hurt though, because only has six defend. And it's res okay, so it's not even two it's not even two shotting him. Okay, good. Now let's box in this bird. Oh we can't because he's next to this. Okay, um because birds can fly over that stuff. Let's see. Yeah, not even Marsha can do it. Shucks. Hmm. Oh, they can ask to go around. Okay, so I could box them in then. Very good then. In that case, I shall. Box a bird? Go home in a box! This is good. I just have Ike wait there. Oh, the only the long bow counts as an extra step, doesn't it? Okay. Well, whatever. Whoink! Ten damage. Very nice. And that got roll for level. Very good. Gura! Five up. <laughs> and some much needed HP. I don't think he's got any of that since like the beginning of time. Zyheart comes up here. If I attack with anything but the Lagoon Slayer. Oh, I need to heal first. Jeez. Okay. Then in that case, staff heal. Oh, you know what? I need to worry about like having missed in range of uh turn this on, yeah. Like, I can use Zyhart and Kira to bar these guys off. Steel Sword, no, Iron Sword. It's better, because they're not being weighed down. So I just wait. Well, if I use the Goose Slayer, that should keep him away from Zyhart, I would assume. And then. I'll pop Jill over here. No, I'll use Jill as a boxer, so. Okay, all is well. I have barred off that bird. Because he can't go anywhere right now. So I just need to keep Mist away from harm's way. Soren can handle himself, but Mist cannot. What's this guy's speed? 14. I missed it. Okay, so Mist wouldn't be double, but I don't want that to happen anymore. Bar the ship! We'll accept no intruders. Oh! <laughs> Go, Marsha! Okay! He's Iron Lance. Even if I miss one, that's still gonna be good. Oh, well then! Six. Bang! And that's what we we're talking about. I'll just leave her here, because that helps bar the edges off. Now Mist is out of range. I'll just move Jill, like, up a couple of squares, and I think we're good now. Boyd's fine. Go! Ah, I thought so. He did go for Kira, because Zyhark is much more dangerous. Fifteen experience, though. Went around. That I also expected. 
the outcome was not outside of my calculations. Very good. And I did bar off the crow because that basically just helps me leave him alone for a little while. Oh, that's Seeker, isn't it? Shucks! I gotta watch out for him because he's bad. No coin. For sure. We don't want Seeker around because we have to, uh... There's only three three ravens on board right now, so I need to make sure that they don't kill themselves as such. Okay, so I'll turn on the range of all the ravens so I know where to not... I think the one that's over on this side... Oh, that's right. Uh, Soren Elwood did it and it died. This one is stuck as long as I don't move any of these guys. So... We shall move. Soren, mostly. Staff heal. Here we go. Excellent. That put Mist in the body of danger again. Just bring Oscar around, that's all. And wait. Very good. Marsha is going to help with the front line, and Lloyd will also help with the front line. Two, three. Marsha's injured, but it's nothing that she can't handle. Okay, good. Ah, good. More crows. The more crows show up, the better. Aha! It's funny how the characters in this game call them. Oh, for a second I was like, wait, what just happened? Oof! Criticals when I'm not paying attention are bad. Uh, did get the Seeker book? Very good. Here comes Seeker! Plunder away! King Nasal has given us his blessings! He looks like a smug sneak. <laughs> I'm gonna need to use fast units to bar this guy off. <gasps> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I forgot to check his skills! <laughs> what happened to <laughs> Oh, he has corrosion, okay. So that means Boyd's Iron Axe has uh, five fewer uses now. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so Seeker's speed is 16, so I need characters at least 13 to bar him. Um. If I was to. Stick Jill here. And wait. Then we can probably keep Seeker from running around. It would probably be a lot easier, by the way, to just kill him. Uh, and uh, just bar a crow off instead. This one only did 9 to roll, so I guess that's okay. And the Poke. The Stabby Stick! Let's get, yeah, let's get Rolf and, uh, and uh, Soren over to kill Seeker off, I think. Ooh! You're gonna make me reset the level if this keeps up! <laughs> Pow move! Alright, that's good. <laughs> Very good. Oh, she already moved, huh? Okay, I guess Rolf can get this one. It doesn't matter. Steel bow. No, I use Rolf's bow. Much more accurate. Very good. Get out! I'm falling! Good job! <laughs> My minions of madness. Alright. Blue gem. And, if I'm not mistaken, we have more crows coming, so let's, uh... Clearly one won't die. I should probably kill this one. Come on, Z-Hark! I'd like to have Z-Hark get that kill, though. To be quite frank. Can I hand axe you? Okay, good. Haha! <laughs> and that's how it's done! Oh, I just leave him somewhere. Okay. And this will work. Cut you to pieces! <laughs> Alright, so you just have to... Be, because they're strong... Well, they're fast, but slow. Oh, I got seven, bro. Okay. So what's this guy with? A coin, which he drops. Only one guy left, so as long as he's not in range of any of my squishy units... I'm gonna turn the range on. Okay, okay good. So, Zyhark is... No, it's Ike who's not in range, so I should probably move Marsha over here. Items, and... Okay, so that means the entire front of the ship is now completely barred. Staff healed. Boy, he did that. <laughs> he got roughed up by Seeker something fierce. Haha! <laughs> okay. All is well for the moment, let us go. Because he can't attack anyone on this round. Okay, turn this on. I'm going to give him an offer he cannot refuse by opening up a hole for him. 
in a minute or two. Let's see. So I put him here. See, I figured if I wait around long enough, guys will show up. So that's always good. And I can afford to waste bonus experience if it means I get uh, stuff. Right now, only Rolf is in range, but if I move Kirin and we take the hand axe, then that will change. And Soren can stand here, and that effectively bars the entire side of the ship. Because you can't move through enemy units, that's for sure. Okay, very good. Go! Ah, I knew it! More crows! <laughs> this one got right up to the edge. Okay, and that one's not going to move because he has nowhere to go. No, I can't do both sides of the ship, so I guess... Let's just this one speed. has a cool one, and uh, it's 15, which means he would double miss and this would die. Not cool. So if Rolf's injured, I'll move Kieran out to engage. Mist can go over here and staff heal Rolf. Okay, good. Now, they're the most injured as such. There are a few guys who are injured, but the rest of everyone is actually just fine. Go! Goes for Jill. I should have suspected. It does only three damage, though. Which is actually quite good. Alright. And that crow's not moving because he has nowhere to go to attack. So his AI is just doming out on him. Nice job with that guy. Iron X, very good. Ooh, we got crowed. Now Boyd's at uh, 97, which means I could give him a nice bonus experience level in a minute. Kieran, let's get you... Preferably a stronger weapon, I would assume. I haven't decided that I'm using Joe yet, so I don't know. I do need to... Maybe I'll bring Nephany up here and attack with Rondrinus for the kill. <laughs> Unnecessary critical hacks. Very good. That was worth a lot of experience and a coin. And I can just have Kieran plug the hole in a minute. I need to have Mist come out first. Okay. And I have two Mounties, so I can just easily plug the hole up again in a minute. Okay, good. That's all the healing I should do with Mist, so I can give her a three bonus level. And Kieran is going to stand here, actually. Okay, good! Ah, another crow. What's that one carry? Anything important? Six! Alright, hopefully. I know the, the late crows have stuff on hand, so... Bwah! Yeah, another secret book. It's like, truck, yeah, they're carrying around all sorts of useful st stuff, you know, right now. So I should probably kill the one on deck and let this one approach. Mist is done healing for now, so I'm just gonna make do with my uh, fresh units. Hey, team. <laughs> stand next to Rolf, that's why. Okay, back it up. Who needs that kill most? That'd be Z-Hark, actually. I'll just bring Marsha to the front. I tell you, let's. So Z Hark has a clear shot. Has to use the Goose Slayer again. So overkill! <laughs> Bam! And down he goes. <laughs> Alright, that's okay. We, we actually managed to steal a second one, so I have no qualms with using up the first. <laughs> None. To speak of. Okay, I think we're good on this front for now. Still only one guy left. Enemy phase! I think we need to bar this one again. So that means we do the same thing, but for the right side of the boat this time. So I think I need to wait for one more guy to show up? I don't remember. I have to check to see, like, uh, how many guys do show up. Like, in total. My guidebook suggests, wait till chapter 14, you'll eventually get some good shit. Well, if I do that, maybe if I just, like, leave a hole on one spot for them to get into, I'll just back this up. So it's completely out of range. And then... Well, I'm with Rondrin, this is actually not all that unsturdy, but I'll have the Iron Lance equipped for now. Everyone else is set to go. 
good, good, good. Well, Kieran is not going to get doubled, so I'm not in any real danger. And Nephany has 11 defense. And 14 speed, which means this guy is of no threat to me. Go for it! Ah, more crows. Very good. So I knew my patience would pay. Alright. It's kind of funny how Seeker dies, then, like, that's only halfway through the chapter. <laughs> okay, okay, we have another bird coming up, so I need to deal with the one on the deck right now. That has a Seraph robe, which is excellent. And this, so this is like Stat F Central. Like, jeez. Oh, man. Um, z can you take care of this guy for me? Not quite, but this will get him a level up nonetheless. <laughs> well, okay! <laughs> Very good. That takes them over the edge, and... You disappoint me! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Unbelievable, I've just wasted two Zyheart levels. Ah, oh, well, I will grind him up and then just give him some bonus experience. What's the speed of you? 14? Okay. Not a big deal. No one in range is actually in danger, so... I'll just let them come to me, I guess. La 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 Yeah, no one else is actually in danger, so go! <laughs> it goes for Sorin. <laughs> Can't even double him, though. Or kill him off. 13! Bam! Have some wind! And I picked Sword in 90, so I should probably leave him alone now and switch to someone who's at low experience level. Okay, how do I do this? How do you make this work? Turn the range on here. Oh, hold on, with cinnamon buns every day. Whatever, let's bring Oscar around. That'll get him closer to 99 experience, actually, so do it. Do! Wow! You suck! Oh, okay, so not really. I would have you to kill for that. Okay. Boy's at 97, so I'm going to experience him. Marsh is at 80. So I need to, I'm going to have to level someone, I think. All things considered, because... Unless I can shove her. Yeah, shove definitely. Or, better yet. <laughs> six times two, nice. And it's not even a guaranteed hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if I was to move Sorn out of the way, because I'm not, I'm not attacking with him, but he can take one more hit. Nephany! Show this crow what you're made out of! Which preferably is not salt. I need Ron to this for the hit. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Splat! Yeah. I killed Seeker a few turns ago, but he has lots of reinforcements. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, not exactly. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Nephany's out of, out of action now. I should probably get in on this one. Um... Zyhark's at 31, so I may have him help. Kieran, do not want... Let's see. Miss is at exactly 99, so I'll back her up. Rolf uh, needs to be defended. And... Probably won't go for Boyd, I assume. Well, it doesn't matter. If I hit Kieran, it's fine. Who's that? I got... Thanks. I'm <laughs> 13 for Marsha. Okay. But it's not a big deal. And phase. Who goes for like just as planned? <laughs> Gura, thirteen points. We have visitors right now, unfortunately, so I can't be too overly loud and obnoxious until they go away. What a what a shame. So now there's just the one bird left. Right? Yeah, just one. Who can I rough up this guy with? Ike, I think, just did a number to him. Yeah. Out of curiosity. Yeah. And the Iron Blade... Yeah, let, me, let me put him down, actually. Like, like, one HP, and then... Whoever is at... Give the kill to Zyhark, actually. So all the guys are so close to getting good bonus experience levels. Attack with Iron Blade! Oops. <laughs> I was gonna... That was on G? Yep. Oh, nice! Is she still around? Oh, no, she just... Uh, I should have said hello. Oh, well. End of chapter!
We just finished killing the ravens, and they had like four stat-up items on them, so it's like, BOUNCE! I'm gonna give one to Ike, actually. He, he, he has a Seraph Rogue earmark for him. Alright. Wow, that was quick. Uh, there's not a lot of enemies in this chapter. I may actually do number 13 if we have time. Completely immobilized. That was a good trap that they laid. Whatever. So I'm gonna go on land. Actually, we're going on land, but this is actually dragon territory. Or Goldoan territory. Should, should, be leaving, should you be leaving the ship? Nothing's getting done. Whatever. Nasty is like, what? No, don't do that! <laughs> That's... Dun, dun, dun. You there, what are you doing? Hmm? Oh, who's that? This could be a problem. And so, predictably, maybe not so predictably, actually. This is Godot territory. Outsiders are not permitted. No es por mitar. No, we understand. Our ship's on the ground. We're stuck. Then return to your ship. What happens to Bjork is none of our affair. These guys are cold-hearted. Yep. That is redonkulous. They're completely... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but there's three. We can take you. Uh, you think so? Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. They're dragons. Wow. Yeah. Dagrons are scary as hell. Oh, who's that? Alright, someone to help us, I suppose. Along with a non-generic dragon. My Lord Prince. Oh, it's the Prince of the Goldones. Man of the Bjork. My countrymen were discourteous. I asked that he is... He is... Oh, he is ye old English. <laughs> ye old butchered English. Spelled with E's at the end of every word. Curse Naga, the Prince of Goldoa. Alright, so let's get some diplomacy going, Ike. Yep. Don't wag your tongue and we might get somewhere. And Kurth is like, hmm, what's the problem? I <laughs> Oops, sorry. I am told that I am blunt as hell. <laughs> I imagine he did. He seems like the kind of guy who would say such things. And the guy in the back, that's Gareth. He actually has two lines in this game, and beyond that is mostly useless outside. Uh, He's just to to stand, is to stand behind this little, this little pencil-thin... Uh, Prince, and make sure if anything happens, he gets involved. Alright, so King Dad is going to lodge a formal protest with Kilvis. Very good. Gareth, direct the others to push their ship free. At once! One of his two words. So the other dragons transform, and they all shove the ship out of the water. Very good. And Mist is like, wow, dragons! <laughs> and Lincia is too, I suppose. More than any Lagoose tribe, they're alone for both longevity and, I, can, I bet you can guess this one, STRENGTH! Mm -hmm. They are powerful as fuck! <laughs> and, uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to fight a few of them towards the end of the game. <laughs> Everything I've learned comes from books, because the Goldoans generally don't talk to outsiders. Yep. Is it good fortune? It's just fortune. For once you're reckless. <laughs> Shut up, Mist. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Kurth. I am happy that you are helpful. It looks like it's in the same place. No structural... Oh, good. We can just set sail, huh? Good. Hooray! Good news. Thank you, Kurth. <laughs> that would be most appreciated. We need, we need more water. <laughs> Fucking water! <laughs> Anything fresh. It shall be done. Yes, at once. And those are his only two lines, which yep. are mostly the same. <laughs> Do not worry about payment. Your kindness is uh, <laughs> all the payment he needs, apparently. <laughs> you know, Kurf, by the way, is not at all like his dad, whose name is yep. Dikitsia. Mm -hmm. um, suffice to say, um, <laughs> it would be. Kurf, like, wants to be sociable. But, unfortunately, his dad forbids all contact between Dagrons. I insist that you consider a personal gift from Godot's prince. Mm -hmm. In that case, we will accept um, and move on. Yep. No, we'll take what you give. <laughs> no, no, we'll, we'll take your stuff. By all means. I am so pleaded. Captain Nasir wants to depart as soon as possible. Kurth, don't you want to talk with Nasir? Oh, well. Another time, perhaps. Yeah, those dragons give him the creeps. 
<laughs> so they do. I don't think he likes being near the dragons. Kurth, he would probably make an exception for, I suppose. Farewell, Bjork! May your journey be safe. This is actually the only time we see Kurth in this game, but he becomes yep. a lot more pro plot relevant in the next game. In the sequel, he gets out in the he goes out in the streets. He's pretty awesome. He's very awesome, actually. First, the ravens attack, and then we're rescued by dragons. Good grieving. So, just 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 as we have the Crimeans, Begnions, and Dayans, so do we have different species of the Gurus, I suppose. There we go. Elincia has the right of it. <laughs> yep. It is tempting to assume that all ravens are bad, all um, all dragons are good, or, or neutral, or whatever the hell. But, or all cats are good, I should have said, whatever. We haven't actually seen any Phonesis hawks yet, so... Yeah. Danes are evil and Crimeans are not. It's as simple as that, or so you would think. <laughs> nice job. Nice job with that. Good job correcting yourself. And Nasir has some more philosophy to offer. Yep. Drawing a definitive line is nigh impossible. Where have you been? I am uh -huh, yep, right. uh -huh. Oh man, you had exactly the right yep, of it. Yeah, I knew that, uh huh? Plus they would probably be like, Nasir! Oops. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna... How's the undercover mission going? I mean... Oh man, spoilers! <laughs> Sora disappeared too? Oh jeez. That's interesting. Good. Although, considering he hates on the cats, uh, I'm assuming that he probably hates on others more. Here we go. It's a chill wind that blows... This is the south, actually. Well, whatever. Ike has many thoughts to think. Also, he has to do a hundred push-ups, because I may yep. get another level. Yeah. Possibly. Actually, probably not going to give Ike push-ups, but I have... Like, everyone else is going to get push-ups. Yep. Alright, so... I got some more plot to read, and then we're going to do the push-ups. Alright. Chapter 13! A Guiding Wind. I will be right back, folks. I need munchies. Went and grabbed a cupcake, so I have to eat while I'm training. Okay. So MVP was so I heart, probably because he had the Lagoon Slayer and did asses of damage. New allies are Soth and Jill. No casualties or irreparable harm. Very good. Okay. This is the part where I'm going to do some push-ups now, so... Uh, next time, I will see you on Fire Emblem Path of Radiance! Have yourselves a good day!